Okay, so we are going to make the fastest tongues in the East, or the fastest tongues you're ever going to make, basically, because it's literally you just get a piece of metal about I don't know five centimeters wide, two inches wide, about seven cent, cent seven millimeters thick, and then you just cut out a slot here, so halfway down, cut it off at an angle, and the same on the other side, opposite direction. And I've already twisted this one just to show you uh, what it will look like. Don't worry, I'm not cutting into the amber. <laughs> wow, this is like literally just taking. So far, 10 minutes maybe, not even, and I'm nearly through all of it. And there we go, two pieces exactly the same. There we are. Right, and there we have it. Two that are exactly, pretty much, close enough the same. If you were making something for a specific stock, then that would actually work pretty okay, I think. Now, and there you have it. As you can see, that's as far as I could get. But, considering I got a lot out of there, all I'm going to do now is stick it in the fire. And the, the metal there is so thin, it should be able to, I should be able to just kind of punch it out or something. Metal is nice and thin. Finally, I have a use for this, this weight. This is a cast iron weight. Okay, the moment of truth has arrived. There we go. It turned out quite alright. Ooh, I had my doubts there for a second. <laughs> now I gotta try and line up those 
um, those jaws. There we go. That's a pair of tongs. Now, if I hadn't messed around with all the holes and stuff, this would have been really quick. Excellent. Man, I learned so much from making these tongues. Don't they look cool? <laughs> All right, let's just see if we can hammer this back to some form of shape. And we'll get there. There we go, now that's, that is lined up. That's good enough. Here we go. Now that's... Whew. That was quite an intense bit of uh, work. If I didn't have to put in, like, if I, if I hadn't put in the holes and had to kind of line up the jaws and all that kind of stuff because the stock was just too thin, I think I would have been okay. It would have been way quicker. Now, what have I learned? Well, I've learned that basically the stock was way too wide. So a little bit narrower probably would have helped a lot. Also, um, or rather thicker would have helped as well. Um, because that made these jaws offset with each other the, the actual thickness of the, the material also maybe cutting in only maybe one third of the way would have maybe helped this situation as well i hope it's going to be functional i think as a rail railroad spike kind of tongs it would actually work but i don't have railroad spikes so <laughs> that was a bit of a waste of time but it does hold round stock as you can see big heavy chunk so I'm pretty pleased with it. So if you're in a pinch and you want to make quick tongs, it is possible to do them this way. Just use thicker stock. Hope you enjoyed the video and I might catch you in the next one.